Hey, how are you? My name is Alejandro Quilisi. I am from uh, Caracas, Venezuela. And actually, you don't ask why I, where I come from, but uh, I think it's nice to let you know that I'm from Venezuela. Uh, people here in Venezuela, they call me Ale all the time, Ale, Alejandro. I heard about the Miami ad school through Google. I, I, I went online and I wrote ad school. Not, not ad school. No, I wrote ad school. S C H O O L. No, it's funny because when I say it, it sounds ad school. It's cool, it's a cool thing. But um, actually, it's my accent, which is not very good. Ooh, school. And, and just popped up. It said Miami at, at school. I said, why not Miami at school? I, it sounds cool. <laughs> it was, uh, it, it, no, it's, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember the name. Cre 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 the creative, crea creative, <laughs> creative track. I'm sorry. The creative track master program degree. Yes. Let's see. Um, working experience. I graduated from uh, Syracuse University in 2006. Since then, I've worked, had two jobs. I worked uh, for a year in a production company as an assistant director to a very well, well known director here in Venezuela. Uh, we filmed, uh, we f I think we filmed over 35 or 40 TV commercials during that year. I'm working right now in a, in a advertising company called Low Concept. Low, low, low. <laughs> Don't tell anybody, but I, I was supposed to do a internship <clears throat> for a year, full internship, to do all the departments from the advertising company. And I did it. They made me start in the production area, in the production section, and uh, I stayed one month. And after I asked if I could be change and they changed me to, to create the creative for the creative department which I loved from the beginning uh, so what I'm doing right now is doing co copywriting I am a junior copy I, sometimes I bring the coffee sometimes <laughs> they make me I write I'm not the best writer but but I do write I, I write TV commercials I write a lot of copies for graphics I'm actually doing all other stuff but, uh... well there are, there are many things I find interesting about the Miami at school the first one is that you work with people who well the people who work at the Miami at school teachers are people who work full-time in ad agencies I myself want to be around people who are active in the business and they're learning new things or they're bringing new things to you know to the table and and it's very important it's great because there's so many new things that are coming along like you know, the web 2.0 and, and all of the internet boom that we're having right now. So it's good to work with people who, or get taught by people who are actually making a change as we have classes. I found very interesting the fact that you work with FIU. Advertising is not only about the creative side, we have to look at the marketing part of it. So it's very important that the two things go hand by hand. I could go, you know, the 360 full circle experience so I believe that will you know improve my education I really don't do anything <laughs> take something like this you grab this so you're on the, on the surfboard like this and you begin to paddle so you paddle you have to look if there's a wave coming another hobby that I have is photography I love to take pictures I have several camera camera um, on the other side this is my camera Olga which is a plastic camera you get on top of the surfboard, you stand up like this, you stand up, you're, I'm, I'm not standing up because I'm going to fall, but you, you get the point, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a midget in a surfboard. Smile. Look at me, I'm Kelly Slayer. I'm surfing. You came up very nicely. No, I'm just kidding, it's not digital. <laughs> what you do is that you fall, and that's it. Surfing. There's two movies I, I really like. The first one is The Lion King. You know, the beginning, you know, was the, the huge, gigantic, you know, African sun coming out. It teaches you the story of this little lion who, who lo knows about responsibility at a, at a young age. So it is important. It's something that you have to, to have in your life, you know. 
You have to take over the family business or you have to take over your own life to have a meaning and a purpose. The second movie that I like is called The Motorcycle Diaries. It stars Gabriel Garcia Bernal, who portrays a young Che Guevara. Che Guevara and his best friend take a trip all the way from, from Argentina to Venezuela. And in the way, you know, eventually the motorcycle breaks down and they ended up walking. Well, when they were walking, you know, they meet these interesting people who have real problems and they, they discover the realities and the problems that Latin America was facing and it still faces right now. You know, they get in touch with poverty, they get in touch with hunger, with the lack of uh, rights for Indian, indigenous people, uh, the, the, the problem with diseases that are still spreading in Latin America. So you see how these two characters, you know, they go from a, a geographical change, a physical change, all the way, you know, well, they do the whole trip, but also they, they go through a psychological change, how their mentalities change from, from one place to the other and makes them better people, better persons. So I, I really like that. Well, books. You're probably guessing that I like to read because I have a lot of books behind me, but uh, no, that's not, they're not mine. They're actually my grandmothers. Um, I live with my grandmother here in Venezuela. From time to time I grab a nice book or I pretend I grab one from this library and read a little bit. But I actually read. I, I, I like to read uh, stuff that brings new, new things to the table. So for example, I'm reading right now a book that is called uh, Wikinomics. A book about, you know, how you can get business from the internet. You can make business from it and how advertising can, you know, get into this new world. I like to read, you know, stuff like, uh, you know, magazines like National Geographic. Um, I really don't, I'm not interested, you know, in, in magazines with the naked girls or anything like that. I read, I read the National Geographic just uh, for the articles, they're pretty interesting. It has two really nice, nice and big articles. Uh, my favorite TV series has to be Family Guy. It's just it cracks me up each time I see it. It's very funny. I, I know a lot of people say they don't make sense sometimes, but I love jokes like that. Jokes that, you know, are weird and, and outrageous. I really like the Sony Bravia TV commercial commercials, especially the one with the little plastic balls in San Francisco. The commercial really captures this little moment, and, and I think it's all about that. It creates emotion. and. Even plastic balls can create this sense of, of, of happiness. I don't know why, I, each time I see it, I begin to smile. People who knew me in high school thought I was the kid with the weirdest last name. One secret, uh, one secret nobody knows about me is that I don't have secrets because I have a very boring life. <laughs> Shh, don't tell anybody. I have a lot of secrets, I won't tell you. But I can tell you this, the biggest secret of a man is not what he hides, but instead is what he wishes he could hide. Think about it. Nobody will believe if they heard that I, I ran naked uh, through the quad on junior year. Oh, wait, senior. The worst thing that ever happened to me was to be away from my family for a lot of time. I left when I was 17, I'm 24 and I have have since lived with them in the same city, so that's why I'm going to Miami. My favorite noise is the sound of the ocean. Describe yourself in one word. Um, uh, let's see, you have a dictionary here. Spontaneous. Um, you should have asked, what is the square root of 4,386. Well, another question you could have asked was if I like chocolate. Well, if you divide... Okay, so what the square root of 4, how, how much was it? 4,386. Very easy. You grab your calculator. And I don't have one. So, I won't give you an answer on that. I like chocolate. I actually like chocolate.